Hey everybody, today I'm going over I'm So Grateful by SV Music, and I'm doing this in the key of E. So the intro starts off like this. Go six minor, to a five, to a four. And it repeats it. And then it holds this going into verse one. Have you ever wanted to learn how to play your favorite worship songs on piano? Well, I have something that's perfect for you. It's called Worship Piano Academy. It's an online space to help people of all skill levels learn to play worship piano exactly like the pros do. It's packed full of simple techniques that are easy to follow and tailored specifically for worship piano players. If you're brand new to piano, we have all the basic lessons to get you on track. If you've been playing for a while, we have tons of advanced lessons and tips for you too. So check out worshippianoacademy.com. And so the chords with your left hand is just a six, a five, a four, or a C sharp, B, A. And then that lead line. And then in between the lead line, you're kind of hitting this E note, uh, quarter notes, to kind of hold everything together on top of your chords. it and holds it going into verse one so then verse one god here i am waiting in sorrow it may not be better by tomorrow but i know you have good into verse two. So what I'm doing here is the whole time I'm hitting this E and I'm carrying that on and then let's see that's a six minor to a five and then this lead line I'm doing it over here. So when you combine it together four five six I'll slow it down. So while you're hitting the bass notes. So in verse two, I'm trusting you despite my denial I perceive facing the trial the, the, there's nothing you can do. It goes to the five. I'm so great into the chorus. So all I do there, and then walking into the five, I'll go. So that's a five says four. Here's your five, and you have the four. So walk to the five. I'm so great into the chorus. And so there's a lead line over the chorus. The chords are I'm so grateful. So that's a one. Got your A five says four with that same lead line to a six minor. And I make that little chord change here, and then it's a it's a one sus two over a five. And then I walk down to the four. And I kind of end it that way. So and a lot of times if I'm on a four chord, if you put your hand in this position, so if the key is an E, and you go to the four, which is an A, so I do my A and my second inversion. So here's your root, here's your first inversion, here's your second inversion. Your if you play it like this, your pinky is available to hit that octave E, and then you can kind of bounce between so like here's a B chord. If you hit that E note, you're kind of creating some tension in this chord and I really like the way it sounds so I use this a lot over that four bass note and then that's a four sus two with that octave E and then when I hit this note I'll kind of run up so I got to quickly bring your left hand up to hit that B So 
So then the, the top of that chorus, I'm so grateful, God, you're able to bring beauty from pain. You're there along the way. You've been faithful. Back to the intro. I'm so grateful. That same like lead line. Hold it going into the verse two. You made a way. The cross makes me worthy. You call me by name. And then on the on this verse, he's not he's not doing that part again. That lead line, he's just hitting this uh, this E note. So you made a way. The cross makes me worthy. You call me by name. Your blood makes me family. Not that I love you, you love me first. I'm so great. So on that part when I'm, my rhythm changes, that's when the drums kick in and the drums are kind of doing this, kind of this rhythm pattern. So that's, I'm just following the drums. And a lot of times when the drums are doing some sort of a fill or some sort of a different rhythm pattern, I like to follow that just because it kind of keeps everything together, in my opinion. But So that's kind of what it is. And then it jumps to 5 over 7, 201 to a 4, and I add that 2 in there. So... back into the chorus. At this point, the whole band's in, and then this lead line, I'll jump up to octaves. God, you're able to bring beauty from pain. You're there along the way. You've been faithful. And then it goes to the bridge. In the highs, in the lows, grateful for it all. Grateful for it all. When I'm weak, you are strong. I'm grateful for it all. Grateful for it all. So those chords is just C sharp minor. My four sus two with my octave E's. I like playing that that way. Here's your E. Octave E's, and then I'm hitting the fifth with my left hand. Just to kind of make it give it like a full chord. Here's your five sus four, and here's your five, so it kind of bounces between that based on what the mel melody line's doing. Or hit them both at the same time. So it does that part twice, and then it keeps going on with the bridge, but the chord changes. So it goes, in the joy, in the pain, grateful for it all. So the first two times it's a one chord, but in the last two times it's a one over a three bass. So that's all you change there. Great for it all. When it doesn't go my way, I'm grateful for it all. Grateful for it all. Back to the chorus, and it's a down chorus, so everybody drops down, and it's just the piano. I'm so grateful. Now a lot of a lot of times when I'm doing well I do this all the time actually but if it's just piano one thing you can get away with you can add ghost notes um, as rhythm over a lead line so the lead line is this right And so what you can do is add rhythm notes and I double that tempo up so it's or so that's how I play my rhythm over that lead line. But the rhythm notes that I play have to be a lot quieter than this rhythm. So I call them ghost notes. So it's like this. It just adds a little bit of texture to your playing. So as far as which notes that I play, you know, if this is my one chord, it's gonna be some sort of notes in this one chord. Right, so you keep your hands in here, and then you can pick any one of these notes to play as ghost notes over that rhythm pattern. And 
And so, I'm so grateful, God, you're able to bring beauty from pain. You're there along the way. You've been faithful. And there's a break. I'm so great. And the whole band comes in right there. And you go back to the octaves. God, you're able to bring beauty from pain. You're there along the way. You've been faithful. And it goes back to the back to the bridge with these hits. And it's just through the eyes in the lows. I'm grateful for it all. I'm grateful for it all. When I'm weak, you are strong. I'm grateful for it all. I'm grateful for it all. And the band comes back in, back to that kind of rhythm. I'm grateful for it all. And that's when it goes to the one over three. So, in the joy, in the pain, I'm grateful for it all. So that same rhythm pattern. And then on the last bridge, it does a couple hits walking up. Um, when it doesn't go my way. So that's it. So it's a six, a five over seven, to a one, to a four, and I add the two on there. When it doesn't go my way, I'm grateful for it all, I'm grateful for it all. with a big trash can and anytime a song ends on a four a four chord you can do this kind of a run up that sounds kind of nice nice way to end it so all it is if it's your four note it's a it's a seven a one and a five or no seven one two five of that four chord so if it's a one two three four five six seven one two three four five so it's seven one two five, seven one two five, seven one two five. And if you do it quick, it just kind of sounds nice. You hit the chord, and if you do it real quick, like that. So it's a good thing to practice. It can sound so it sounds kind of nice. So that's the way the song ends. Hope that helps. Um, see you in the next video.